Good morning, doctor. Do you treat children? Do you treat a lot of children? Are you a pediatric dentist or a general dentist who treats a lot of children? If you are, this video is about how you can consider extractions in your treatment plans, how you can sequence them, and what you can do for your child patient. You know, so many times you have extractions, let's say, to clear the path possibly on right and left, and sometimes you have it right and left lower, like the lower C's or canines. And I wanna tell you something, you don't have to do just one side. You don't have to just take the teeth out on one side or tooth out and have them come back. If you go ahead and do local anesthetic right and left on the lower and do those extractions, it takes only a few more seconds, as you well know, for the extractions and maybe an extra couple of minutes for the local because you go slowly so that it's comfortable. Guess what? They're done. There's no more do I have to do that next time. No, we finished that. So think about that when you have extractions to do on right and left or local to do on right and left. Also, I want to tell you, the children tend to have almost no lip biting um, when you do extractions bilaterally or when you do, sorry, local bilaterally, no matter what you're doing for treatment, because that whole lip is numb. It seems that they don't try to check it out as much or something. So that seems to diminish some of that lip biting, which is really wonderful because that's no fun for them or the parent, needless to say. So that's a thought for you on extractions. It's a thought for you on local anesthetic. It's a thought for you in how to sequence your treatment, right? Uh, a few more minutes in the chair makes a huge difference to you in terms of not having to reschedule. You don't have mama being worried about it, probably more than the child. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have to set up again and tear down again. And so it works for everyone. It's really a good thing to think about. Sequencing. Also, let's say that you have sequencing of both lower and upper restorative or extractions in children. Sequence your lower first if at all possible. Why? Because if you do an inferior alveolar block and along with a long buckle which you, and lingual, which you get automatically if you do it the way I do it, which is to go in there and get local in one injection and you pick up lingual and long buckle as well as inferior alveolar 95, maybe 98% of the time. Now, he's not, he or she is numb on both sides. You do whatever treatment is needed on the lower, then you come back for the upper. Now, depending on how much you have to do on the upper, you might do the upper in two visits only because if you've got restorative to do, it may take longer. And, but why did you do the lower first? Because the local anesthetic is an easier experience for the child, and actually for you too, because it's easier for the child. So now you go back to the upper and you do the local, which now includes some palatal anesthesia of some sort. Whether it's infiltration or block, I don't think it matters. The reality is it's a harder thing for the child and thus for you too. So do the lower first, then they have less anticipation for the upper. And if you can do right and left upper at the same time, all the better as well. So those are some thoughts for you on sequencing um, and on how to do your local. Uh, I can show you if you don't know how to get all three, inferior alveolar, lingual, and long buckle, I can certainly show you how to do that. And on the upper, if you're doing anything as far as canines forward, do your middle, uh, your middle superior alveolar around the uh, bicuspid area on the palatal and get nice anesthetic that way. Um, if you need to get the six-year molar involved, of course, you're going to have to go back and get the posterior severe, superior alveolar. So some thoughts for you on local, some thoughts for you on sequencing. Make it easier for you, make it easier for your patient and their mother or father, but usually it's the mom who's with you. All right, some thoughts for today. Sending love, signing off.